Hello everyone, I'm your boy Ben Boy, and welcome back to the second episode, well not welcome back, welcome to, the second episode of Weapons Wet Work. This one is probably definitely going to be shorter than the last one, I'm sorry there was so much talking, but when you introduce a series, especially a very short one like this one, you need to at least explain it, so then that way four episodes in, somebody's watching it the first time and being like, that, that was it, that was the video, like what the fuck. So anyway... Today we're going to be talking about the KN-57 Assault Rifle. Ah, the KN-57. Listen, boys, I'm going to be an Unreal Gen 5 with you lot right now. This gun is definitely one of, if not the best gun in Black Ops Wars beta. As I stated in my previous video, link will be in the description, all gun stats are based off of an out of 20 scale. So if a weapon hits 20, we've got issues. The KN-57 stands at an astounding 8 out of 20 stat for damage! Just to put that into perspective, in the last video we determined that the DMR has 10 out of 20. 10 out of 20 is enough damage to drop somebody in 2 bullets. This weapon is only a measly 2 points below that of the DMR! A high-powered sniper rifle, technically. A high-powered semi-automatic sniper rifle is only slightly more powerful than this fully automatic AK ripoff. Fuck you, Windows! Come on, man! Shit! I'm about to throw a Recon Force ACOG on this boy and snipe these guys. I mean, two points of damage below a semi-automatic sniper rifle is absolutely insane. But wait, there's more. Ridiculousness. The range on this rifle is another staggering figure. 9 out of 20. Yet yeah, 9 out of 20, man! The same amount of range as a designated marksman semi-automatic sniper rifle. Just, I... What were you thinking, Treyarch? Like, I love this gun, because it's so OP, but, and, and, I, I've played the second, this is all data off of the first weekend of the beta. Second weekend of the beta, I think they dumbed the damage down by a couple points, but that's only four points, I think, that they dumbed it down by. It's not much. They really did a number on the gun, uh, and they tried to nerf it to high heck, but you know what? It is still up there, boy. It is still up there with some of the some of the powerhouses of the of you know the AR world so I really could use this thing as a sniper with an ACOG it's so sad the next stat is fire rate now gentlemen and maybe a lady not only are both the damage and range completely outrageous but the fire rate is yet again a ridiculous value as a matter of fact a value of 11 out of 20 that means that this weapon fires over half of what it takes to be at the maximum 20. Keep in mind that this boy is only the second AR that you unlock. First one is ICR. ICR is still a solid weapon. This one beats it out so hard. To wrap up the next three headache inducing stats, accuracy at is a 10 of 20 because fuck it, why not, and holds three mags in reserve at 35 rounds each. So they even gave it five more bullets than a normal modern day assault rifle because it's the future. So if you are going to use this weapon, I'd suggest maybe the uh, tr 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 tritium? Tritium sight? Tritium. Tr tr tritium? Tritium. I think it's tritium. The tritium sight, which is basically the blue version of the uh, ELO from Black Ops 3. It's very useful. Other than that, this gun uses gun however you want. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You still look like a god in Call of Duty. Like, just this gun is so powerful, you just can't not look like a god. It's absolutely ridiculous. So anyways, again, sorry for these videos being short, but that was the KN57. Very powerful rifle. I hope it gets a little bit more nerfed in the final build of the game. The second weekend, I think it was damn near perfect. They just have to tweak a couple things, like maybe drop a point off of accuracy, maybe drop like two points off of fire rate. It'd be good to go. Be a solidly balanced weapon. 
I mean, what do I know? I'm not the developer of the game. I don't have the, you know, massive data that they've collected over the amount of the beta. And I have confidence that they will do with that what they please. But, you know, it's just kind of... I don't know. It just seems way, way powerful. Uh, like, it shouldn't be. It sh like, it shouldn't be this powerful, but it is. So anyways, guys, that was the Can 57. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm recording this video right after the last one, so I have no idea what that last video did, but make sure to show this video some love, too. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to be recording these in pairs because they're such short videos, so I could probably record them both and then edit either both of them at one time or edit one one day and then the next day edit the other because they're so short. Um, but anyways, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Again, make sure to leave a like. It helps me out. It lets me know that you guys are actually interested in this nerdy, you know, work that I put into this. I put a ton of work into making sure that these statistics were correct. I'm sorry, but... It was actually a ton of work, you know, I played the game for about an hour, which doesn't seem like much, but then I spent the next hour and a half writing each little, like, as small as these videos turn out to be and as small as these scripts are, it takes me about an hour and a half to write each one, and then an hour of doing a weapon, which, out of the first weekend, I was moving maybe four weapons a day, so that turns out to a solid, like, five ish hour work day like genuine work so i hope you guys appreciate the work that i put into these videos not like i don't put work into my normal videos but scripted videos always are twice as much work because i actually have to write the script with funny moments and stuff it's just playing the game with my friends for fun for a couple hours and then cutting the footage down and making sure it looks and you know when you're watching it you're still engaged and it's funny but with these i can just kind of you know take the editing a tad more serious and informative and this and any any video that i write a script for make sure that you guys show it a ton of love because i put a ton of work into my script to make sure that there's you know a joke here and there uh there wasn't much there's not much in these videos because they're so short and i want to get all the facts out just lay it out flat but anyways for the final time i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching drop a like subscribe if you're new we're going to be running through a whole bunch of weapons link in the description to the first video that I did of Weapons Wet Work, and as always, I'll see you all in the next activity. Bye-bye.